There is a secret war brewing in the Appalachian Mountains, and I just got caught in the middle of it. But before I start, follow me now. I hail from the shadow of the Appalachian Mountains, where the rugged landscape shapes its inhabitants with a blend of resilience and solitude. My youth spent in these environs was marked by an unremarkable education, leading me to wander restlessly upon graduation. The past half-decade unfolded like a tapestry of tumultuous events, culminating recently with the death of my uncle. The modest inheritance he left behind, a secluded cabin and an old truck, seemed a final gesture of passing on the baton of solitude. In a bid to find solace, or perhaps to confront my own wanderlust, I decided to inhabit the cabin for a while. Upon arrival, the cabin's dilapidated state was immediately apparent. A testament to my uncle's physical limitations in his final years. My absence had not been kind to this place, and the initial weeks were spent in a flurry of repairs and adjustments. I had lost touch with the cabin's quirks and demands over the years. Yet, with patience and toil, I gradually restored its former warmth and function. The simple lifestyle it offered had an unexpected charm prompting me to extend my stay indefinitely, armed with supplies and a newfound appreciation for isolation. The rhythm of life here was unlike anything I had experienced before. My days were no longer dictated by the relentless pace of a society that demands constant movement and productivity. Here, I found myself in a strange, peaceful stasis, where the only demands came from the natural world around me. This tranquility was abruptly disturbed one day by the approach of a storm, its foreboding presence challenging the sanctuary I had found. Racing against the looming threat, I secured myself within the cabin, hoping it would withstand nature's impending fury. As darkness enveloped the cabin in the midst of the storm, the boundary between day and night blurred. The tempest raged outside, a symphony of wind, rain, and thunder that seemed to shake the very foundations of my refuge. It was a night for seclusion and reflection, yet the ferocity of the storm brought an unexpected visitor. Through the veil of rain, a figure appeared, struggling against the storm's wrath. Driven by a mix of concern and curiosity, I ventured out into the maelstrom to offer aid, finding a young, injured stranger in dire need of shelter. The boy, draped in a robe that seemed too light for the weather, was a mystery. His presence raised more questions than answers, and his reluctance to speak only deepened the enigma. Despite the communication barrier, I felt compelled to help him, driven by a mixture of empathy and the urgent need to address his visible wounds. The solitude I had once cherished was now pierced by the weight of responsibility for another's well-being, challenging my understanding of what it meant to be alone in the wilderness. In the days that followed, the cabin became a crucible for an unexpected bond. The storm had not only brought physical upheaval, but also a connection between two unlikely companions. As we navigated the complexities of healing and understanding, the layers of mystery surrounding the boy gradually peeled away, revealing a world I had never imagined could exist within the confines of the forest. The tranquility I had sought in these woods was but a veneer beneath which lay hidden stories, conflicts, and a life profoundly interconnected with the natural world. In embracing the unpredictability that had led me here, I found myself at the threshold of a new chapter, one that promised to redefine my understanding of home, belonging, and the intricate tapestry of life that binds us all. Be prepared, because the story I'm presenting to you tomorrow will surprise you.